We just had lunch here at the Salty Brigade. Now it's time for Fox and Winery. Onward. We're here at Fox and Winery for a quick 50 minute wine tasting before we do the artist. It's Build your own bottle. Peace. <laughs> Here he comes with the water. You get an extra 15% discount if you buy six or more bottles. Okay. What's your name? Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Hi, guys. Hello. I love the jelly jars. Florida. 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 All over the place? Okay. I'm loving the jelly jars. There's a couple of uh, industry covered. folks too, is that what I read? Yep, yes. two of us. Two of you? Okay. Yeah, so we'll cover your tasting. Uh, thank you, sir. Can you grab some black. That's not a chihuahua. It's just a little chihuahua. <laughs> That's a different one. Don't mess with the chihuahua. Okay. Don't mess with yeah. the chihuahua. Chihuahua looks very old. This is King Sonny. He's fine. That's a chihuahua. Sonny. No way. Schnauzer. Really? That's not a chihuahua. There's right, another dog that was a chihuahua. Uh, okay. Morning Terrier. Yeah. Yeah. It's a year and a half. Almost a year and a half. Are you our winemaker? Uh, not today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like thank. I like thank. Co-owner and winemaker. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Florida game. Oh, welcome. All right. Well, welcome to our part Except of California. Except for these two, they're they're we're, just we're from the East Coast. Thank you okay. very much. I want the anchor glass, honey. We're from the East Coast. Now you Florida is not the East Coast. Well, they're New Jersey. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you, you have a little tasting of Santa Barbara, aren't you? For you today. No. So okay, sort of guys. a mix yeah. of yeah. all the different yeah. wines that we do. Yeah. Down the road here. Okay. From, oh, from, I think we saw it. We passed the shack. We, 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 we yeah. started singing oh, about you, the you wine shack. Thank you. Here's the flight Please reform for you today. It's open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Really? Yeah. It's the one that was inside here. The flight reform. Oh! Okay. Kelly, did you hear that? No. What? The shack. Oh, you have your own well, thank you. This is what great. Was <laughs> the shack is down the street. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. 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 Minute up the road. Uh, started by Billy and his friend Dick. Billy was on the winemaking side. Dick was on the sales side. Um, so they started actually making Bordeaux varietals. Sort of graduated up to Pinot in the late 90s. Now we're sort of known for Pinot. Just a little more. Just a little bit. That's fine. I'm the driver. I'll bring some uh, cups for you guys too if you want to pour. Um, but yeah, yeah once uh, Sideways came out in 2004, fun. that did a lot to this area. <laughs> we actually built this entire winery and tasting room in 2009. Mm -hmm. So we expanded quite a bit. Wow. A lot of time. But not with Merlot, right? Uh, Merlot, unfortunately, Kind of went yeah. down the tubes. <laughs> sideways. Uh, sideways. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame because it's, it's really it's a nice it's great variety. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I love Merlot. We do um, different wines down at the shack now. It's open Thursday through Sunday. And we do our Bordeaux and Italian varieties down there. It's basically a lighter Pinot. Uh, Santa Maria kind of Valley Pinot. Pinot. For this. Mm. And fruit coming from Vienna Macedo and River Bench, both out of Santa Maria Valley. Basically, just up the road to the north. Call a Rhone style blend. This is Cuvée Jean Marais. Oh, I'm sorry, I skipped one. That's all right. Um, let, let me grab that because uh, I don't want to pour this one. Oh, you get a freebie. You get a freebie. Four times. No, he skipped one. Yeah, they did a freebie. Okay, we missed the Pinot Noir. You gotta get the Pinot Noir. Grapes, whatever it's called. It's very important. I did bring you fresh glasses. Okay, so we'll save that for next. <coughs> I shall. Pretty sorry. It's fantastic. Uh oh. They like it now. That is really good. We got something to look forward to. All right, so River Bench. This is a single vineyard Pinot. So for our single vineyards, we do 16 months on 30% free French oak. Are y'all distributed by Wango? Pinot Noir River. Bench Vineyard. Chambers and Chambers in California. I'm not oh, sure about Florida. Okay. I can look it up though. Thank you. Yeah, that's enough. Um, so River Bench is our neighbor winery. So one part of the one you just tried. This is a single vineyard. 
just from there. So a little deeper flavors here. Because just a little more for you. Please, thank you. Mm. Peanut. Yeah. Please tell us this. <laughs> Did you get a pour of this one yet? Or are you still yes, working sir. on the last one? That's your, the one you just poured. Okay. Yes, sir. We got another one uh, this year at uh, about two thirds Grenache to one third Mouved. Um, Coughlin? Uh, the with the Coughlin. Uh, the Coughlin does a big one. Yeah. Uh, this was a Coughlin. Uh, like that last one? Yes, yeah, yeah, that was really yeah. nice. A little more depth of flavor there from the previous one. So it was a yes. seat, the old seat oh, turtle. Yeah. Really nice. This one should be one quite a bit heavier. One ocean. Getting in the heavier for two nights. It was really nice. They, yeah, they did a really, really good nice. job. I don't have that kind of money or publicity. No, that's so. a, yes. Or the one. Yeah, I was in Scranton, Pennsylvania. So. In Scranton, Again, Pennsylvania. and they're the ones who well, we play softball. All softball yeah. players are gay. I go, that is not true. <laughs> <laughs> Doing, uh, what did we just agree to buy here? <laughs> this one, two of these, and two, two Chardonnays of these. and two Pinots from Toxin. Yeah. And it's going to be a case ship to Jane. We're here right in time. The last full flight is at 345. Yeah. All right. Hi, hi, hi. She'd be happy to come by and see you guys in a little bit after we the end of the uh, season. So. Thank you. Right. Yeah, so all of our labels are. Um, I like to start. Yeah. yeah. I'm a third generation winemaker. Uh, my great grandfather grew grapes for Ingle Nook back in the 1880s, 1890s, early 1900s, before that takes me back. Prohibition, yeah. And, uh, and then my, my grandfather remembers growing up on that vineyard that's on Zinfandel Lane in, in Napa Valley mm -hmm. and picking grapes as a young boy, which back then you start him early, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, yep. And by the time he was about 10, 15, 10 to 15 years old, he, um, prohibition happened and they ended up moving to Prunes. Um, and then he moved to Southern California, raised my father down in Newport Beach. And then he moved to Santa, uh, Santa Barbara where he raised my dad grew up. And um, I grew up in Santa Barbara as well, and my dad decided to get back into the wine business and grow a vineyard here in Santina's Valley in 1989. So I've What's been the involved. Name of that, one? that was called Sunstone. Okay. Sunstone Vineyard. Well, we went there. We went there. Yeah, we went there. Yeah. Yeah. We went right. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is that still your dad? Chateau Picard. We sold it actually in 2019. Okay. Yeah. Oh. To the yes, one that bought it? Oh, well, there's a big group of people that bought it, but yes, yes it's headed up by uh, two people. So, uh, John John Price is now the owner, uh, majority owner of the project. Okay. But, yeah. So, when did you get into the business? I was in college when we planted the vineyard in 1990. Uh, I came back four years later and jumped into winemaking in 94. I was coming back every summer though to help out in the vineyard with the uh, the winemaking process, vineyard growing. And we were selling the grapes to local wineries. That was the intention. And we got the bug. We started making wine, just little side projects, family wines with fax paper labels on the bottles. You know, very personal. And story about the blending, the art of blending. Um, so if you go to Europe, most of you have probably been to Europe, you've been to Bordeaux, South of France, Spain, Italy, most of the wines are blends, right? Um, there's a few places as you move closer to Germany where it gets a little bit more refined and varietal driven, like Burgundy. Oops. <laughs> it's all about quality control. Isn't it? <laughs> you have the 
the mom kicked in, I started counting. Does anybody hear? <laughs> it's more like the teacher than the mom. So in Europe, uh, and especially in France, they've kind of coined this concept of terroir, right? Terroir is basically a sense of place, capturing the essence of a vineyard or nature in a bottle. And it's like a time capsule. The grapes, every year, are a little bit different. The environment, the soils, the rain, et cetera, et cetera. So every vintage has a unique taste, a different flavor. And then the way the winemaker crafts it is going to be slightly different every time. Maybe a little bit different oak, maybe a little different yeast. And maybe age it a little bit longer. It's outstanding, one of the best aromas you've ever had. Uh, one, you might like the aroma, but the mouth feels like, ew, it's gritty, it's, you know, it gives out a one. And then you'll have a total score at the end for each wine, and you put that total score in there, and you know, hey, I really like the aroma. The flavor was okay. The mouthfeel was fantastic. It's and so, and yeah, and you don't need to get all crazy scientific on this if you don't want. You could just write, I really like this, and put five stars. Mm. Right. There's no rules, okay? Interesting. Um, and if you want to get poetic, you're welcome to write aromas, flavors, mouthfeel. Like, for instance, this Merlot has a really nice black olive characteristic to it. What I teach people is to put the bottle on the table, like this, and put a 45 degree angle with a serrated blade on the upper side. Upper side, not to the side here. Mm. So on the upper side, and your thumb to for balance. And then twist the bottle underneath your blade. Mm. Uh, it comes right out there. And then you get a nice that clean cut. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then it's all done. It's total chaos here. People cannot do math when they're drinking wine. For myself, I'm thinking one eighty-five percent cab. Fifty percent wrong. Debbie's got her wine filled over here. Okay. Down all the way. Here we go. Uh, I grew up here. Would you like to go? Oh, I just tapped it. Back up? Yeah. You don't want to be in the age. Do you have a little bit more? What a professional. Hey. Ah, I'm going to chase that. A little bit more. A little bit more. Good. 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 Should be you said it yeah. is about 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. Are you using that? Yeah. So, uh, this thing is what we're going to use to uh, cork the bottle. Okay. So we're push that down. Okay. And we're going to go push yeah. it up and then to times. Go ahead and cork it. Okay. So, I'm going to use the whole thing. Are you ready? Yeah. Right there. Okay. Yep. Side or it doesn't matter. Okay. So, which side do you want? Which side do you want? It's going to be open soon enough anyway. Alright, so now grab the, uh, grab the handle and we're going to push it down. Do I need to step on this already? Yeah. 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 Done. All right, so what was your blend? It's a white blend. A white blend? Like 50-50 or? Um, it was for, um, what do I want to say? Um, we're going to have some more bottles Maybe 75-25. You got it written down, I don't know. <laughs> Very nice. Well, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> so, well, I asked her, like, I was like, portrait the landscape, and she ended up saying the landscape, which didn't make sense to me, but I went with what she said. There you go. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, I started. So he must be the influencer then, right? <laughs> Go ahead. I do. Yeah, we're ready. It's like I don't like looking at half the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so go ahead and. Uh... 
I don't see it recording. Oh Why don't I see it recording? Yeah, making a label. If I did make a right, label, drop the cork in. Now you're gonna put your foot right, All right here. So grab this guy and put your this one is wait before. Okay. And uh, yeah, just pull it back. So how do I get that on? Oh, you want me to do it for you? Sure. Okay. Here we go. For sure. Oh! Now I'll sit. I'll pull sit. Back oh, up. that's my pull it back up. agent. He's a graphic designer. Very it's okay. Yeah, it's good. It can be a but he did it for about five years. Because he came back from the train show. Voila! Voila! I just think look at that. Every time you need graphic design done, right? There you go. Now you need skill at all. What else, what else have I waxed? Yeah, yeah. There's some quack stories going on. Oh, yeah. There's been many burn victims in our heritage. <laughs> I bet. I'm like, that's, Marshall, that's no calm jokes, down. That's right? 400 degrees. That's Waxing. No joke. What are you talking about? So, what do you do? <laughs> now, <laughs> he, night, and he just, just totally like, no, nope, nope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, turns didn't turns even great. blush. No. Nope. Right, but then you just. Yeah, we fired up two hours time? before you guys came. So, there you go. And then you just dry it off so it doesn't get on your label. There you go. Voila. Thank you. Voila. So, what do you recommend? Let the sun touch the passion between our two legs. Wine label. But oh, that is on the wine label. We could figure out how to do the graphics. Well, I'm a baby yeah. boomer. We're heading over to Brothers for some dinner. Fire, charcoal, vegetarians can suck it. We're here in the Red Barn, Brothers Red Barn. All right, we're all good. Is that everybody? Not yet? Oh my God, I'm serious. All right. I have no clue. I'm Jormari Soros. It's a dig in my backyard. Yeah. You can That's the brothers' red barn. And you have to pull out all the different river rock that's in the dirt. So, but but I put down cardboard. Oh, that should be my Raven's nest blend right there. Mm -hmm. Best thing I ever did. 